Hi folks, Charlie Shelton with Universal Parks News Today, back once again to try some tasty treats. I'm back here at Universal Studios Hollywood because Toothsome Chocolate Emporium and Savory Feast Kitchen has finally opened. We've been watching the construction of this for quite a while and we're very excited to finally be able to walk through the doors and they have just an extensive menu. There's so much to go through. So we have selected a few of our uh, most intriguing items here to try today. But first, let's take a look around here. This place is incredible. It is two levels and uh, steampunk themed. Everything is gear works and there's automatons making chocolate in the back. And you can look through the windows at the chocolate making machine. Everybody is dressed in top hats and suspenders and goggles. This is just a fantastic place and I love I could I could walk around here all day but there's so much to eat on this menu I can't wait to dive in so we're gonna try a few of these things I'm gonna start first with the brisket burger half pound house-made patty chocolate stout glazed brisket oil dressed arugula tomatoes fried mushrooms white cheddar horseradish bacon and onion jam on a sesame seed bun and this thing is a beast look at this this is gigantic, it's gorgeous. So I see we have a portobello, when they say fresh mushrooms, they're not kidding. This is a portobello mushroom cap right on top of our uh, burger here. And then there is a piece of the brisket. I do wanna try just the brisket on its own because I love barbecue brisket. So I wanna try that before it gets mixed in with the burger. Hmm. Ah. I don't taste the chocolate glaze or the stout glaze. Hmm. That's just really good brisket. Wow. Hmm. That's fantastic. All right. Well, I'm excited for this. Let's try. This is huge. Look at this thing. All right. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh man. There is so much going on in that. Um, the brisket comes through a lot better than I thought it would, to be honest. Like there's so much here and there's so many strong flavors. I really thought like that barbecue brisket was gonna get lost because it's, it's not drowned in barbecue sauce or anything. It's just a, a well-cooked brisket, but like, I thought I was gonna lose it, but it is coming through and it's, I don't wanna say the main flavor note, but it's definitely sticking its head out. That's that's very, uh, very good brisket. And the burger too is just like real, real patty, not the frozen stuff that we're used to from theme park foods, uh, the real beef patty and the onions on here. This is just spectacular. This is great. Mm. Everything seems to work really well with each other. Like all the all the flavors complement each other. And the textures. Texturally, this is great. It's very interesting. Like the soft mushroom and the the moist brisket go really well, but you have a little bit of the crunch from the arugula and the goopiness of the onions. The burger itself is also very well cooked, just barely crispy on the edges. I ordered it medium. Um, this is fantastic. Well, I would love to eat more of this, uh, and I will shortly, but, oh, we have fries too. Let's try the uh, little cup of fries. Those are good. I mean, they're, you know, they're French fries, but like, it's not blowing me out of the water. They do have a, um, an upsell for a, a Parmesan fries, I believe, but I have so much to eat. I didn't want to overindulge myself. Alrighty, so next up we have, Sorry, are you on? I am, but I would love your input. Anything you can do. So it's a cocoa pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. We sous vide it so it's nice and moist. When it comes out, we sear it in the pan and coat it with a little crumbs and cocoa. We've got a sweet potato mash, purple cauliflower, some asparagus, baby carrots, and the sauce is a sherry wine sauce with a little bit of white chocolate just to give it a little sweet. Dad, I got goosebumps. And your name's Micah? My name's Micah. I'm the GM. 
nice GM, to wonderful you. to meet you, Micah. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Enjoy the rest of your meal. Thank you. If you have any questions about the food, just let us know. Alrighty, great. Thank you. Well, that's great. This is so they are still in a soft opening, and there's not a lot of people here. It's also a Thursday morning, so I don't, uh, you know, this this place isn't super duper full right now, but I'm sure it will get full. So this is this is awesome. That makes me even more excited for this. This is, to be honest, the one thing on the menu more than anything else that I was excited for. So, oh, come on, that's that's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at the glaze. That's amazing. Oh. Mm. Wow. 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 Oh my. That's one of the best things I've ever eaten. That's incredible. All right, it's it's sweet, it's chocolatey. Like it's not overly sweet, but it's got those sweet notes. It's chocolatey, and that works so well with the pork tenderloin. Um, that is that is just incredible. It's so moist and perfect, as Micah said. It's uh, they sous vide cooked it, so it's it's perfect and moist and all kept right in there together keep saying I need to get a sous vide that's that's kind of my next frontier for cooking um, it just makes everything so moist and wonderful mm. that white chocolate my word that white chocolate sauce is just incredible it's sweet that is sweeter than the pork that's where the sweetness is coming from I think rather let me get some pork that's away from it Yeah, okay, so that's where almost all of the sweetness is coming from, because the pork itself, even the cocoa on the outside, is not particularly sweet. All the sweetness is coming from that, that white chocolate, the reduction. That is, this is insane. Oh, man. It's like sweet and savory at the same time. It's definitely a gravy that goes along with the pork and it's it's savory in that aspect, but it's got that little bit of white chocolate in there just to set it off and it works so well together. My goodness. That might be my favorite thing I've ever had in this line of work. This is incredible. Let's try these veggies here. Mm. Even that goes well with the with the reduction sauce. This is insane. And the sweet potatoes bringing even more sweet into it, but like not in an overpowering way. I think because it's all in like a it's a good sweet. At no point is it too saccharine or too sickly sweet. This is this is all perfectly balanced. Mm. Well, I am 100% going to finish that in just a second. But first, I got to try this crepe. This is the apple pie crepe. Sauteed cinnamon apples, caramel sauce, toasted strudel, powdered sugar, whipped topping, and apple crisp. And in a couple of chocolate dipped strawberries. I love crepes. I think we should, as a, as a society, as humankind, we should all just have more crepes all the time. They're always good. And there's a crepe place down in uh, City Walk further, but this is you know, next level crepes. Mm. Wow, that's fantastic. That's so good. Well, this is amazing. Um, it's light, it's just chewy enough, it's fluffy. It doesn't have that like tacky, um, like stuck in your teeth kind of chew that crepes do sometimes. These are like crispy on the edges and just chewy enough in the middle. These are fantastic. And the apples, 
even though they're like you know stewed apples in like a in a sauce it feels just a, a better version of like the apple pie filling that we're so used to in in lots of things this is fantastic this is one of the best crepes i've had in america those crispy apples on top just go to sell it even further this is this is amazing man these are all winners honestly though of the three i think the one that i'm gonna see again in my dreams is that cocoa dusted pork loin that that changed me on on a spiritual level that's that's incredible um and the other two are just stellar like no notes all the way across the board we still have one more thing to get. Let's get a milkshake. Okay, so it's time for a milkshake. This is probably what uh, Toothsome is most known for because of Instagram. Um, they have a very cute milkshake, and here it is. They have several cute milkshakes. They have a huge milkshake menu. They also have a milkshake bar that you can go to. If you're not dining in the restaurant, you can go and just get a milkshake at the bar. And so, here it is. That's the milkshake. This is the strawberry cheesecake milkshake. This is sour cream, ice cream, cheesecake, graham crackers, whipped topping, chocolate dipped strawberry, which is cute. So this is, this is just gigantic and it's served in a cute little uh, plastic mason jar. So I've been waiting a long time to have one of these. Let's try this. Mm. Wow. I did not think I was going to have sour cream ice cream when I woke up this morning. That is really interesting. It's it's good, but like I can't tell why. Like it is sour. It tastes kind of like sour cream. It goes to the cheesecake, but it's not that twang of cheese of cream cheese. Um, it's like a subtler version of that. It's it tastes like cream cheese, but without that twang. So it's just the sweetness and very very pleasant. Hmm. This is fantastic. And it's got strawberry sauce all over the inside. Let me see if I can get some of that straight in. Mm. Okay, so that brings just that hint, a pop of fruit flavor, but like it's definitely cheesecake first and strawberry second. Mm. I like that a lot. And it's the perfect consistency for a milkshake. It's it's not too thick that you can't get it through the straw, but we do have an oversized straw. Um, but it's not, you know, fighting to get it out, but it's also not thin and, and milky. It's, it's a shake, not milk. Um, and so it, it really is the perfect consistency. And I see why Toothsome in Florida was so well known for their milkshakes because this is spectacular. I mean, as, as good as the food is, this is great too. Mm. Well, that's incredible. I can't wait to try all of these milkshakes. This is great and I'm gonna be here quite often on my trips to Universal Studios Hollywood. Also, um, for any anyone who's coming in, um, paying for CityWalk parking is a lot just to come in for a restaurant, but there is a deal if you're sitting at a sit-down restaurant here at City Walk, you can valet park for $10 for the first two and a half hours, which is like a standard rate. That makes it completely better. So you can just come in for dinner and walk around and have a nice time and not have to hit that $30 parking, uh, you know, for the theme park for the day. You can just come in for the short time. And then if you stay longer than two and a half hours, it, you know, it can go up from there, but so you're not limited into two and a half, but $10 is not bad for parking. So this is definitely an accessible place for locals or out of towners to just come to have dinner, even if you're not going to the theme park or seeing a movie over at the uh, Universal Cinemas. So this has been great. This is one of the best dining experiences I've had in a theme park, but also just in LA. This is, this is really great. And, you know, don't let the, uh, high theming for you. This is, this is incredibly good food. This is great. I've had a fantastic time here. Everyone has been so attentive and welcoming. Very happy to have Toothsome uh, Chocolate Emporium 
and Savory Feast Kitchen now open at City Walk. So if you enjoyed this video, please let us know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.